When I got started filming content for YouTube, I had purchased a webcam. This is a Nexigo webcam that worked fine. Uh, my previous shot walls and a white door, and so that's what you were looking at. And the color seemed to work out okay. I had fluorescent lights, but they were very high in the ceiling. It was a two-car garage. Moving to this new place, uh, the fluorescent lights are older. They're much lower down. Plus, this pegboard has interfered with me. It's very bleached, very, the color's not right. So I decided to start using my cell phone, which a lot of people are using. It puts a lot more use on your cell phone, but that's where we are. The cell phone I'm using is a Motorola Edge, not an iPhone, not a Samsung or some of those kinds of phones, but this is not a monetized channel as of the time of this video. So I'm not gonna be putting a lot of money into my camera if I'm not getting you know, money back. So uh, then I purchased this. This is a cup call, cup call crane. And so the idea that you put it in your cup holder in your car and you have your phone there for hands-free or GPS or stuff like that. I bought it for use for filming, uh, doing either shorts or reels for Instagram or uh, videos for YouTube. And so, and so that has worked for me, but I have to clamp it into my tool tote. And that gets a little, uh, and that's it. You clamp it in your tool tote. I have started another YouTube channel, uh, Richo Hobby and Art, and that's where I'm sitting there and I'm showing off collections. I'm show, showing some artwork or something like that. And I don't have room for the tool tote and this to be in one spot. So I needed something, a tripod or something better to hold my phone. And so I got the Sensane, yeah, Sensane y, y60 selfie stick. Uh, this is not a promotion. This is just my review of how I'm using it on my channel. So I'll show you how I've been able to use it here and what I think of it. So open up. This is what you get. You get this thing in a kind of a plastic sleeve. Put that to the side. Now, I'm not a selfie stick kind of guy. So, or I'm, I'm not a selfie stick type of creator. Uh, I'm just, I'm in the, I'm in the workshop. Uh, and even with the other channel, I'm at a desk. So I'm looking at this, how does this work? Well, the way you do this is you pull this out. This is where your phone will go, or your camera. Pull that out, and then the bottom pops open, and there's the tripod part. Now you, of course, can, you can only bring this down so far because it kind of all stores down in there, and so um, I have found ways of getting around this. but it will get to about five feet. So you just keep pulling this until you get to your, it gets pretty high. So if you needed it for a tripod for a small area, you can just put it on the floor and get it to that. For the phone, oh, I should also note that down here, there is a little Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth uh, checker or clicker. And so pair this up with your phone and you can start and stop without having to walk back and forth, which is what I've done for years. And so that's a nice little feature. Uh, for the phone, I'm gonna use my older phone. This would be a Motorola, uh, a Moto G. I don't know which, uh, which generation it is. It doesn't matter. The F Motorola Edge that I have is larger than this and it's kept in a case, protective case. So if it can hold that, it can hold this. And the other thing I have drawback of is, so this is how you get it on. You split this to get it in, and it just for me, uh, it's hard to do that. Especially, well, first of all, you would probably have it like this. And so, because I w the Motorola Edge has that line of three or four cameras on the back, and that's what I'm using to film. And so, when I'm sticking it in like here, it's hard to keep it, you know, get it in, because it's big, it's in its case, and then also not lose what I'm doing. And so this was easy to get in. It's a smaller, thinner phone, and that's probably what they intend for you to do, is not have it in its case, but hey, <laughs> this is the real world, and this is what we're using. And to get it out of the case and into the case, that's just a lot of work. So it gets on here. You can move this down and up. 
and so that is nice. This phone is lighter. My other, the one that I film with is a little heavier and it, get, it can get a little top heavy. So just be aware of that. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a light case. It is meant to be a selfie stick. So as a selfie stick, again, I'm not a selfie stick type of person, but uh, you can get, you know, it can get pretty, pretty far out. And so there is that if, that, if you need to get into some difficult spot with it, I could see some use for it. Uh, if I was doing a hiking video on my other channel, I could see a use for that. But um, again, in the shop, I'm not sure that this is really useful for me, but that's just, you know, what I'm doing. And then to get it out, just pull that out. And again, push it back down, get that down in there. It's already collapsed the tripod and that's really all there is to it. And then you've got your uh, Bluetooth device that goes down there. It kind of snaps in. So that's the Sensine Y60 selfie stick with tripod.